Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ottoman Empire campaign with the Kaiser Reich mod for the Hearts of Iron 4. And we are here fixing our army, I mean our country. Well, also our army with this focus. So, yeah. And I really don't know what will happen. I have been told some things in the comment section about this country. It might join the Cairo Pact along with Persia, but I guess we will find out sooner or later. And if that's the case, I want to improve my defenses. And maybe we start, start field storage. And our submarines are almost done with exercises. Okay, so Rashidi Arabia joined the pact. Okay. Maybe I should justify against them before it's too late. 195 days. Oh, uh, well. Support Idris. Um, what's that? Well, I don't know. I guess we could start justifying. Yeah, let's see what will happen. Probably something horrible. They have... Okay, now they are deploying more troops to this area. That's a slight concern. I need a strike force in the Eastern Mediterranean. Reorganize the army structure. And... Reform the Gendarmerie. Oh yeah, this was also men mentioned in the comment section. The Ottoman Gendarmerie is a rural, rural police force nearly a hundred years old, and yet it is too unorganized and under-equipped to fulfill even its basic duties. Challenging more officers and... No, no. Channeling more officers and funding into the Gendarmerie command should be greatly improve should greatly improve their capabilities. So increased political power gain, that's nice, and also minus to partisan effect. That's good. That's really good. You are still my puppet. That's nice. I'm not gonna call you into war. And maybe not even Yemen. Come on, let me... Edit it a little bit. Here we go. We cannot man every single... Region of the border, but... We just have to... Man as much as we can, and Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. Tripolitania has joined the Cairo, Cairo Pact. So you are no longer my puppet. Ah, wonderful. The Fourth Balkan War. The Serbians have attacked Bulgaria together with the Belgrade Pact allies. We have promised to aid Bulgaria in the event of, of a conflict. Some argue we should directly intervene in favor of Bulgaria. But others say this will upset the precious, precarious balance in the Middle East and might result in some of our neighbors declar declaring war on us. Yeah, we will... We send aid. Minus all manpower and infantry equipment. Uh, 
and the planes. I should assign you follow the Red Army. Should I give you some sort of trade here, organization or charismatic? Maybe later. Yeah, okay, okay. What about decisions? We have do we have anything interesting here? Peace deals have been assigned assigned. Grand battle plan done. We go for prepared defenses. And Jewish immigrants from Algeria, with the current anti Semitic persecution rising in national France, many Algerian Jews have arrived in our nation seeking refugee and the right to settle in Palestine. We would gain manpower from this, but lose stability. And yeah, we have enough problems of our own. Go away, Jews. And let's put our subs to do convoy raiding. We have enough fuel to do that. And what resources do I lack? Some rubber aluminium. We might as well go for excavation now. What am I building? Infrastructure in Constantinople. That's interesting. We should perhaps build up some fortifications to Persian border. And make them the highest priority. Okay, now we have reformed. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, nothing. Now we form the desert forces. With our few resources and desert landscapes, we have to find a smart way of turning our weakness into an advantage. Deployment of organized imperial camel regiments is the best way to do this. Camels need very little water and are adapted to the terrain and don't require any oil. Yeah, giving them more flexibility to armored vehicles. Giving them, yeah, yeah. They will also give us an edge over the nomadic tribes of Arabia. Cool. How much am I... Well, I'm still getting very little political power and what is this? Oh, you are justifying against me. What? Wait a minute. Egypt is justifying against us. Oh yeah, with the focus, destroy the Ottomans, and it's going fast, so we might as well cancel justification. Yeah, it won't be long until they actually attack, and I really need to deploy my all of my fighters here now. Let's make it an even number, 50. Oh dear. Destroy the Ottomans. Persia is still not in the Cairo Pact, but 
I guess they will join it sooner or later. Will this force be enough? Okay, the war has begun. Yemen is still our puppet. That's nice. But our former, former puppet is against us. Um, okay, well. We should actually change this a little bit like this. Good. Now we can attack with the Red Army to Arabia. Once they are called into war. Oh, and Persia, Persia is into war as well. They have about 12 divisions, I guess. And we have more in the border, so... I guess it makes some sense to attack here and destroy them as soon as possible. Where are you? You are here in the Bulgaria. I mean Bulgarian border. Um, okay, okay. Let's see. If you all just attack. Our finest hour. The movement we feared for years have finally arrived. Our numerous enemies have bonded together and sallied forth in an effort to liberate the Middle East from our so-called oppression. We will, however, not go gently into the dark night and will throw everything we have at the invaders to preserve the house of Osman and the empire that may last a thousand years. Now, uh, yeah, okay. Some manual orders are in place here. How are we holding here? Pretty fine. And now the Arabia joined the war as well. Let's try to capitulate them as quickly as possible. Some aggressive adma advancement. And let's keep Yemen out of this war. Okay, good. Keep advancing. It's a great Arab revolt. In the middle of 1937, faced with mounting oppression from the Turkish masters, several Arab cities erupted in open revolt. Mobs began burning down Ottoman institutions and raided police and military bases from Baghdad to Jerusalem. Arabs have risen up against the Ottoman Empire. Who the hell is Masrik? Oh, what the fuck is this? Um, yeah, great, great. You are needed in the Jerusalem area right now. This is horrible. I didn't expect this. So, what will actually happen? Try to crush them as quickly as possible. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Kaiserreich is full of surprises. How are we doing in, in Persia? We are trying to pocket them. That's something. Hey, wait a minute. Attack. Why don't you attack? Okay. Good, 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 good. I guess the situation is under control. We are just moving slowly. Oh, Yemen. My faithful puppets have betrayed me. Today is the first day of Eid ul Fitr or, or in Turkish Ramazan Barawat whatever. Anyway, I got political power. So let's try to get into Damascus. 
And we also need a garrison force from now on. <clears throat> was this your front line? I guess it was. Get there quickly. And we are holding here. Good. Now, how about these divisions? Try to get the capital. This is just horrible. We are going to lose. So bad. Oh, we actually managed to pocket them. If we can just destroy them here quickly in Persia, we can deploy these armies to here. More guns, please. Okay, so try to pocket. Good. Now surround them. Who was capitulated? Mushriki Mushroom Kingdom, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's not Mushroom Kingdom, but... Yeah, it's time to reorganize this army. Uh, front line. Okay, so you four stay here. Take this area. Remove your front line. And... Yeah. I don't want to select you guys. Oh yeah, like this. So we put a front line here. And defensive line. Well, all the way here. No, actually that won't work. Uh, never mind. Let's first go like this. This would be fine. And this guy. I need you to reinforce this Persian border and try to push to the capital area. Good, go. And let's hope they won't make it out from the pocket. Yeah, maybe maybe this situation is under control. <clears throat> and yeah. Something happened. What was it? We have lost one submarine, but they have lost three destroyers and some convoys. Expeditionary forces from Yemen are called back. That's surprising. Not. Okay. Well, all things considered, I think this, uh, we might make it. Yeah. But then again, I don't know what else will happen. Maybe I will lose everything or something like that. Okay, what happened here? Oh, these guys pocketed, try, try to reveal, release them or something. And they are holding here. That's interesting. Try to destroy them. How's the air situation? We have the superiority. And we got pocketed. That wasn't my plan. But it happened. The Persians are surprisingly strong. But we are... Destroying them in this region at least. Come on, just... Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go to speed 5. We are moving so slowly in this region. And we have destroyed them. their convoys. They are trying probably to reinforce this area. Initial stabilization. Oh, okay, good. The Black Monday is not 
that much of a problem anymore. We could save our manpower for a moment. I mean, political power. Yeah, some chief of army would be nice or something like that. Anything to help to cross my enemy. Yeah, let's switch you to this guy and... Yeah. As soon as we are done with Arabia, we can concentrate more on Persia. Come on, finish them up. Wonderful. Slowly we are advancing. And our desert forces are ready. What should be done next? Hmm. I don't dare to take these reforms, they might cause some problems. I don't know, I really don't know. We go for economic in initiatives for now. And here are, here are our desert forces. Join with the desert fox and let's see the template. It's not great, interesting. Good. Let's improve our infantry equipment more. Come on, advance, advance. Did they really manage to escape? Well, we are done with Arabia soon enough. And how's it going here? Not so great. At least we pocketed one of them. The end of Fort Balkan War. For good or ill, the Balkan War is now over. The general staff have reported that they learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare over the course of the conflict. Um, great. Oh yes, and sorry for the lack of videos, I have been a bit busy lately, and I'm trying to get into university, so I will have some uh, exams or test to get into that university in this month, so I might not have so much time to record this month, but I will try to record whenever I can. And the subscribers have been increasing, that's nice, I thank you all for that. We are almost in 400 subscribers, and that's nice, very nice indeed. Good, we are sinking them here. Computing machine done, let's go for decryption. Okay, almost done with Arabia now. Let's just finish the remnants here. We also have to take care of Yemen. 
Come on. Crossed him. We cannot train these because they are special forces. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Well, in that case, we will train some infantry. Basic infantry. How are my special forces doing? We have already... No, here's the second one. I thought we already lost one of our special forces. Let's try to create another... Pocket, but it it, it it didn't work out. And we will also try to destroy destroy Yemen. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot this area port we are holding here. That's wonderful. We might have to try naval invade Alexandria. We might be able to pocket this division. That would be nice. Good. Almost there. And let's go for concentrated industry. What? I didn't sign any peace deal. What the fuck? This is weird. Well, nonetheless, we will continue. Oh, here's something. Yemen attains independence. The rebellious Wasal state of Yemen in the south of us declared independence from us over two months ago. With very limited advances into their territory and fierce resistance, our adver advisors suggested letting them go with the majority of the government and the sultan. All agreeing to resources and men lost is not worth it. What the fuck is this shit? I was almost done with them, for fuck's sake. Unbelievable. This is a scandal. Well, this is Kaiser Reich. Can't you, like, force him to retreat? Is he so much better than us? Come on. Go to the capital. Prepare defense is done. We go for Grand Assault. Finally, Arabia has been capitulated and now we can focus on Persia. Offensive line all the way here. So let's indeed see the casualties. Over 100,000 for me, but more for our enemies. Okay, we can hold the attacks for a moment. Let's regroup. They are probably trying to naval invade me here, but my subs are preventing that. Decryption, I mean encryption. Okay, here's a chance for a pocket. Let's try to make it happen. And is the capital undefended once more? 
looks like so. Oh, we took it. Wonderful. Well, in that case, everyone attack. And we indeed pocketed them. That's good. Finally some advancement. These guys are suffering from attrition here. Come on, surround the capital. Uh, let's go for schools of agriculture. Come on, destroy them, please, quickly now. Good. Decryption done. Let's go for advanced machine tools. Or actually, no. We go for better infantry weapons. Yeah, why not? Take the final region away. Oh, they are trying to get out of this pocket. I'm surprised how many... Uh, I mean, how much they still have equipment. They are not suffering from attrition. That's weird, but okay. The capital is indeed surrounded. And please, at once. We are still holding them here in the north, but for some reason we are not able to defeat them. Fri finally free civilian factories. We have max infrastructure in our capital. That's nice, we might as well boost infrastructure in this area. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, we took Persia. We will take all states. Well, this is nice. And have we researched those Naval invasions, where are they? This is a bit different than in Vanilla Heart of Iron. Where are the transport ships? They are somewhere, but I just don't see them. Nope. How cannot I see them? They must be here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Actually, now we put a front line here. And the offensive line... Go here first. These guys prepare naval invasion. From here to Alexandria. And indeed we have to research those naval invasions. 
but I didn't find them. Where do I get them? Come on, I I have to find them. How can this be so hard? I have no fucking idea. Or do we just like convoys? No, we don't. Then what the hell? This is embarrassing. I have no fucking idea where the transport ships or naval invasions are. Let's improve at least our artillery and. Yeah. All the planes follow the Red Army. At least their attack seems to be good. I mean, the enemy is inferior. These guys can... I don't know. Garrison here for now. And we switch this guy to do naval invasion support. Well, actually not yet, because we cannot do it yet. Okay, so it reads here, escort ships. I don't see the icon. Well, I guess I have to Google it sometime. Some, well, maybe someday. No, what am I doing here? I was done with focus. Well, now we go for this. What's this? Political interest. Well, I'm not gonna do that yet. We go for legal reforms. And let's try to attack. Oh, it's actually green. How about that? But it's not anymore. Okay, so we... I think I end the episode here. I will have to look how to do naval invasions in Kaiserreich. But... In the meantime, thank you for watching and bye bye.